Alright guys, so today I have got another squad builder for you and it is going to be around Player of the Month, Sterling. If you guys haven't seen when we went and unlocked him, we also got the 91 Loan Hazard. That is, I believe, my previous video. I, uh, I've i missed a day of uploads, which I'm, uh, I'm sorry for, but it's either my previous video or the one before that. But we did get this Sterling card. Six games played, even though one of them where I joined, the guy scored no goal and backed out, so uh, I don't really count that as a game. So five games, eight goals. He is a B. So I'm really happy with him. Always struggled for right mids and right wings, right forwards and whatnot in the BPR. I've never really found someone who I'm like, he is he's the perfect fit for my style of play. Mane has been good for me, but he's, he's not a, cl uh, a clinical finisher. And uh, we've had some good players what I've used, like Zaha, his inform was fantastic. I don't think I've ever used him in a team for YouTube, but I've used him like just for messing around with him. He was a pretty decent card, but he's got nothing on this Sterling card. And we've got a really fun team around him. I actually really enjoyed it. Used a lot of players I haven't used before. So let's get into it. In the goalkeeper position, we go with Costil. We used him at the start of the game. Really good goalkeeper. Reminds me a lot of a Jack Butland type player where he's OP, but he shouldn't be as good as he is. But he pulls off some absolutely fantastic saves. 2,200 coins, not too bad. Obviously, the player's prices are inflated at the moment as well because of the SBCs. In at right back, we go with Nathaniel Klein. I wanted to use him again. I haven't used him since probably like the first couple months into FIFA. I haven't used him. He's a really good card. I think he's I think he's quite underrated. I definitely recommend a shadow or an anchor for him. But seeing as I'm going to be selling him on after this anyway, I'm probably not going to pick one up. But I might I might do. I've got a BPL team which I'm probably going to put Sterling in, and I've got a few better options. So uh, yeah, I'll probably sell Nathaniel Klein. Anyway, the first centre back that we go with is Perrin on the on the right. Yanga MB were on the left. So we do go with the League One pairing at the back. Everyone gets full chem. Young MB was pretty good this year. Good pace, not the not not the greatest physical don't really notice that too much in game Perrin is fantastic easily one of the better center backs that I've used this year I've used him quite a few times in the league one if you're looking for a cheap center back Perrin is the guy he's a lot better than Marquinhos in my opinion as well so if I had to choose between the two Perrin will be going into the team and obviously being French he links up a lot easier and uh, he's a very very interesting player uh, very interesting very good well-rounded center back to use this year then at left back we go with Van Gioni not really a lot to say about him. I've used him a lot, but obviously fullbacks, it's all about pace really. Apart from the occasional few like Coleman and Coleman and uh, what's the other one? Coleman and Lichsteiner are the two right backs that I've got like, I've gone for and I'm like their pace doesn't really matter, but that's because they're very defensive. Whereas Van Gioni, he's all pace. But that's all you really need at a fullback position. He's actually a pretty decent card. And I've used him a lot this year. So the first centre mid that we do go with. No one's actually in their right position in midfield. We do go with a CDM. And uh, yeah, it's this guy. I thought I was going to sub him out. Actually not that bad. Five assists in uh, five games. Really not that bad of a card. I actually quite enjoyed him. Six foot one, medium high. 84 physical. He does feel quite strong in game. He's really good. I didn't expect him to be good. But he was really good and he performed well. Then in at Cam, we do go with the perfect link, uh, perfect link which is Ever Benega. And the next centre mid is going to be Wayne Rooney when we can put him in. But Benega, he's a solid player. Obviously, this is his transferred card, I believe. Six games at one goal, one at six. So definitely not a bad return on him. Then, um, obviously, you just saw who our, uh, who our next centre mid is. It is going to be Wayne Rooney. This is his Man United card, so I think this is the cheaper one. Didn't really do a lot for me. I used him more as a defensive-minded midfielder. Obviously, having that 8-6 physical, he drops back medium-high work rates. He was a solid player and uh, quite enjoyed him, to be honest. I'm probably, I'd probably recommend playing him as a defensive-minded midfielder, seeing as he, like every time I pass it to him, and uh, it didn't seem like he'd go past the halfway line a lot of the time. He was always sitting back. That might be because I play counter-attacking, so obviously he's going to stay back anyway, but... He didn't really attack as much as I would have liked to. I'd have liked to have a few long shots with him, but he worked well for what I was using the team for. Then in that left wing, we go with a pretty much just a really random player, and uh, he's a beast. We go with this guy, Adumande. Uh, Adumade, I'm probably pronouncing his name wrong, but he's just a pace demon. 94 pace, 73 dribbling. Not really the best stats. That 94 pace makes up for pretty much everything else, though. I mean, what a card he is. I actually really found him quite fun having the four-star skills. He did get one assist in the five games. I'm only going to count five because of the uh, the guy who just left. So, yeah, in the five games, he got one assist. And that's probably it giving away our striker. It is going to be 
in here in here not here not I can't ever pronounce his name guys I get corrected by people all the time Iha Nacho Iha Nacho I'm not gonna we Kelichi Kelichi this player right here, this guy, uh, he was he was just absolutely fantastic and just really fun to use. Considering that it's five games that we've played, we've got another, we've got an equal goal to game ratio or what's it, goal contribution to game ratio. But yeah, he was a fantastic card. Ihenacho, I can never pronounce his name right, so uh, I'm sorry because I know when I watch videos and they get names wrong, I get annoyed. So I'm guaranteed some of you are annoyed at me for not being able to pronounce his name. But anyway, this is the team for the player instructions uh, it is literally just stay back while attacking on the two fullbacks and then for custom tactics they're all set to basic apart from defender line which is set to cover so yeah guys let's get into the highlights with this team now we did lose two of the games or one of the, i think both of the games i ended up leaving there was just no point in me staying in and uh, i didn't have a lot of time to record this video it says the team only gets 99 chemistry obviously you can put some uh, position modifiers on rooney and the cdm for example and put a manager in if you'd like to but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the squad builder if you did leave a like let's get into the highlights so guys let's get into these highlights we've got some pretty cool ones but also with a lot of things that i realized while watching this so uh, i'm gonna pick up on pick up on some of them the goals i tried to do quite a bit of skill moves which obviously i'm i'm not good at skills this year that's no uh, that's no secret but it felt like a lot of these goals were just not clean goals they just look a bit like jigged if that makes any sense like we was making a lot of mistakes obviously this could be down to me like trying to be uh trying to be cool and trying to score fancy goals but it's came out the exact opposite of what i was trying to do in these games but some of them we scored some clean goals there's one what i can think of and uh there's one where we scored a rabona and uh, it was just one of the most ugly pieces of play i've ever seen on fifa what ended up being an okay goal i guess but overall guys the team was very enjoyable the one thing that i noticed with the team was just the like the way it switched it was a very defensive minded midfielder uh, defensive minded midfielder having rooney and uh, our cdm who i can't remember his name but because i was playing counter attacking literally as soon as we started to attack our team all of our team pushed forward even the center backs even the full backs they were sort of playing like an offside trap it felt like and uh, it just switched like I think it caught a lot of my opponents off guard where all of a sudden they they've stopped attacking and thinking all right we can we can steal the ball back and go for another attack and before they can even think about doing anything else all of my team is in their half we're attacking and uh, we're going up and we're getting another goal so uh, yeah the three games that we won i'm pretty sure we won by a decent margin i think one was 2-1 and uh, the opponent that had he scored shushed me and then rage quit so uh, i don't know what he was doing i think it was five or seven two i think we won one which uh, might be this one that you're seeing now and then I think one was 4-1 I'm not too sure on uh, that one though and then the games that we lost I ended up leaving one at 3-1 just before recording the video because it's pretty late now and I want to get this out on time and uh, I didn't have the time to uh, mess around then there was another one and that was against a ridiculous team we had legends team of the seasons and stuff and we scored in that and I think that one might have been 3-1 as well and uh, I left that one because yet yeah, again I didn't have time i've got to get these videos out especially when i've missed a day but yeah overall guys the team very fun i would i recommend it in foot champ foot champs we did play one game in the daily knockout and we did win it but i wouldn't say it's a foot champions team obviously now we're at this stage of fifa i'm just trying to have fun with the game i'm not trying to go out and look for the most op players and the most op teams because everyone knows who them players are so for example the footies, I, that's why I didn't upload, I didn't enjoy, like, I looked at the footies and I was like, I'm not going to enjoy any of these players. If Sterling wins, great, I've just got his player of the month, I'm not going to use him. If uh, Coman wins, that'll be a fun card to use, but I can't imagine it being more than an 82 rated team, so uh, that shouldn't be too difficult. And uh, obviously, I've got the 84 rated footies smalling still saved up, so... If there is a footage that comes out that I want, I can use him as my footage card. So I didn't see the point. I think the other one is Connor Plianka, who I just haven't used this year. And uh, I haven't really seen anyone use him. I've seen, like, I've, I've came up against him a few times, but I haven't seen anyone use him. So uh, if Coman wins, I'll probably complete him for my first footage that I complete. But probably not complete. Well, I definitely won't complete Stone and I probably won't complete Connor Plianka. But anyway... I think the next one's coming out is strikers or centre mid. So uh, depending on who they are, if Renato Sanchez gets one, I'll complete him. 
if Kante gets one I'll complete him and uh, depending on how much they are of course and then for strikers I can't really think of anyone off the top of my head who I'd like to see win or who's even going to be put in the strikers maybe maybe just the pacey player I'd be happy with but uh, yeah that's going to be uh, the end of the video guys um, let me know who you think is going to get strikers for I've just got a message but as always guys make sure you all have an absolutely incredible day thank you so much for watching guys and peace